It was around midnight, just after his wife and unborn daughter's funerals, that Zach Kincaid noticed something in the photos. There was one of his sons trying to get closer as he watched his father shut the casket. Knowing it would be the last time he would see his mother and sister forever. This was not just Kincaid's reality. This was his nightmare after a drunk driver crashed into his wife Crystal Kincaid's car, killing her and their eight-month-old daughter. And it was a nightmare that Kincaid decided to share with the world, posting the photos on Facebook hoping he could save another family from his pain. I put those pictures up so everyone can see the nightmare that I'm living and my kids are living every day for the rest of our lives," he told Daily Mail TV in an exclusive interview. I'm using it as a tool to protect everyone else. That's what this is about. It's not about me getting vengeance. This is about doing what's right. This is about making sure that my wife didn't die for nothing. That my daughter didn't die for nothing. This is my way to honor them. This is my way to save others. Kincaid's world was completely torn apart when Marcos Forstal, 28, struck Crystal's minivan in Hemet, California at 8. 30 p.m. on September 9th. He was going 85 miles per hour, speeding down the wrong lane. Kincaid, 34 had been on the phone with Crystal, who was getting off of work early. She was planning to go on maternity leave in just four days. We were talking, and then I just heard her scream, he recalled. That scream only probably lasted about two seconds, but it replays in my mind very, very slowly. There was a quiver of almost like despair or impending doom, and then I heard the loudest crash. It sounded like the car was tumbling after that, but it didn't. And then there was just silence. I didn't hear her whimper. The silence was terrifying. The silence lasted for a while. Kincaid could then hear people rushing to the car, trying to open the door. They told her Crystal was still breathing, that her legs were pinned, that a fire was coming for her. I'm screaming from the floor, she's pregnant, she's pregnant, is the baby okay? Kincaid, who was out of town for work at the time, recalled. I was stuck 450 miles away from her on the other side of the phone. Then he could hear the fire department arrive, cranking up a machine to get her out of the wrecked car. A police officer told him Crystal and Baby both still had a pause. At that moment, I was like, okay, there's hope, he said. But Kincaid couldn't get a flight home that night. And, a couple hours later, a doctor called to tell him that his daughter who they had planned to name Avalyn Onyx was dead. She was crying with me on the phone, telling me how perfect she was, and how she had no damage, and how she was fully developed, he said. Full head of hair and chubby cheeks and chubby thighs. How she is beautiful and perfect. And then they told me I had only four hours to get there and hold her before the coroner took her. Kincaid begged them to break the rules, but they couldn't. They called to even open the blankets to let him see her on Facebook Live. I didn't even see what my daughter looked like until September 26 during the funeral, he said. That was the first time I saw her or held her. The next day he got on a plane, only to find out that Crystal had failed her first neurological test. Then she failed the second. The only thing left that was working was her heart. Kincaid had to tell the couple's three children and his stepdaughter who lives in Minnesota that their mother was gone. 
They came to the hospital thinking they had a little sister, he said of the couple's three children. They didn't even see this coming. It was really hard. They not only lost their little sister, they lost their mom. Just after having the devastating conversation, Kincaid received a link on Facebook from Crystal's brother. Forced Al had live streamed the crash that killed her. I had an accident. Guys, look at what happened to me, Forced Al a boxing champion can be heard saying in the video. Man, a car crossed in front of me. Look at my car guys. Kim Kate couldn't believe what was playing on his screen. I was watching him try and put the blame on my wife and not take responsibility, he said. And in the background I saw my wife's car on fire. I just couldn't believe it. He didn't even have enough humanity to go over there and try to open the door. Hold her head up so she could breathe. Try to put out the fire. I saw somebody that was 100% narcissistic. I saw somebody that only cared about himself. How broken do you have to be to not have enough humanity to help somebody that needs help? At that moment, I kind of went numb. But Kincaid was even more enraged when he found out that Forstall was only charged with one count of gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. If convicted, he faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. My daughter is 36 weeks, and she's not even be considered as a human. So one count they say that it's because of lack of intent. And I find that real funny, that word intent. This guy's driving like a maniac in the wrong lane and hit my wife on the other side of it head on. He didn't try to brake. He didn't try to swerve. He just hit her. He wasn't just drunk he was driving extremely reckless. To say there was no intent I know this. His intent wasn't good. I just have this gut feeling that he's just going to be out drinking and partying, feeling sorry for himself in no time. And that's just not acceptable. It's disgusting. Kincaid said he felt 100% betrayed by society when he found out. They're basically sending a message to my kids and me that my wife is just disposable. And that my daughter is just a clump of cells, he added. To me, that's not a world I want to live in. I don't think any of us should be comfortable living in that kind of a world. That's why Kincaid has since begun a change. Or petition, hoping he can help enact harsher punishments for driving drunk. There needs to be a deterrent, he said. These people get off with a slap on their wrist and probation. We need to make it so that people don't want to risk getting in a car drunk. And that's why Kincaid posted those heartbreaking photos on Facebook, his way of not letting anybody look the other way anymore. It's a harsh reality and people need to look at it because drunk driving destroys more than just people that are killed in a crash, he said. Share this article share I want to strike a nerve. I don't want to be able to look the other way anymore. Look at my nightmare that I live every day. There's not a day that goes by that King Kenny doesn't think of Crystal. Doesn't think about picking up the phone and talking to her or wondering when she'll come down the stairs. Taking it on by myself isn't what scares me, he said. It's all the graduations and birthdays and Christmases she's missing. Not getting to see her smile with me. Everything reminds me of her. Now I feel like there's a void inside. It's like a part of me is dead.